I went to high school at Pace Academy in the Atlanta area and then went to the University of Georgia for my undergrad and to Georgia State University for grad school. I knew I wanted to get into business and I found a job at a day trading firm in Atlanta. I was seven weeks into my first real job after graduating from college and I was sitting at my desk studying for one of my licensing tests that I was supposed to take the next day, thinking about the concert I had been to the night before and how tired I was, when Mark Barton, a, formal, a former client of the firm, came into the office and began shooting everyone in sight. It was one of those events that you never could imagine would happen. I was in a safe place, I was at my office, and a man just basically he snapped and nobody knew that he had mental issues all of a sudden he came in and just began shooting everybody <laughs> Forrester was one of the victims of the Buckhead massacre on July 29 1999 a crazed cash strapped day trader went on a shooting spree through two office buildings on Piedmont Road killing nine workers and wounding 13 more I was shot in the lower back with a hollow point bullet and a hollow point bullet is the most destructive type of bullet. It enters your body and expands into a mushroom shape and one of my surgeons described it as a guided missile going through my body. The bullet hit my spine, intestines and pancreas and destroyed my inferior vena cava which is one of the two main veins of the heart. My doctors told my family that I had a one in a thousand chance of survival. I needed 115 pints of blood during my two emergency surgeries. And to put that into perspective, the human body holds about 10 pints of blood. So I was bleeding out everything that they were putting into me. My, one of the two main veins of my heart was shredded. My intestines had emptied out into my body, which is, that's just poison seeping through your entire body and it had, the bullet had skimmed my pancreas, so my intestines were emptying out into my pancreas. So they did not think I was gonna make it. If I wasn't able to get those 115 pints of blood the day of the shooting and two days later during the second surgery, I wouldn't be here today. And it frightens me to think that just two days before the shooting, there was a shortage. So the Atlanta Blood Bank didn't even have 115 units of blood on hand let alone 115 pints of the type that I needed. So if Mark Barton had snapped two days earlier, I would have died because blood can't be manufactured. You, it has to be donated and there wasn't enough on hand two days before. Unfortunately, all of the blood donors are anonymous and I will never get to meet them, but I was able to write them a thank you note and I've made it my mission to educate as many people as I can about the importance of blood donation and to help collect as much blood for the Red Cross and for everyone who needs blood as possible. I donate blood as often as I can and I bring my entire family with me. Donating blood is virtually painless and it generally takes less than an hour. You come in, you read some literature about donating blood to make sure that you're eligible then you answer some questions about your personal health history and your pulse and blood pressure are checked as well as your iron count. And then you sit down in a bed, you get to lay back and relax. And one of the trained Red Cross phlebotomists draws your blood. The Red Cross is a humanitarian organization. It is not a government agency. The Red Cross is mission is to help individuals in need. There is a constant need for blood. Blood cannot be manufactured and it cannot be purchased for use for humans. You have to donate it and a single pint of blood can save the lives of up to three people. You can donate blood every 56 days and it truly is the gift of life. And there's a 95% chance that everyone will need at least one unit of blood during their lifetime. So I feel like it is, it's my duty, my responsibility to donate blood. 
People need blood for a myriad of reasons, not just because they were the victim of a very bizarre, unique tragedy. Cancer patients oftentimes need numerous blood donations, blood transfusions. Sickle cell anemia patients, people who are having an organ transplant, open heart surgery, there are so many different reasons why. You never know when you or a loved one will need blood. I was seven weeks out of college and was perfectly healthy and didn't have a care in the world and I needed 115 pints. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I have a full-time job, but I always make sure that I set aside time to donate blood because you never know when someone else is going to need it. Give something that means something. Donate blood to the Red Cross today.